Hi everyone. I've just got a few days left now to Parry Rest Parry, and I'm um, just going to do a quick rundown of my bike, everything I've got on it, things I've changed from last year doing LEL London Edinburgh London, and um, yeah, just go through one of the few things that I've got on here and the reasons for uh, for putting these things on. So start off Cannondale System Six Frame. It's actually from 2018. I've had this for five years. Brilliant bike. I've done loads of miles on it. I uh, just just suits me. It's really fast, actually quite comfortable. And this is the only part that's actually the same as from when I bought it. And a lot of things have changed since last year as well. So I start off group set, Stewart Race, 12 speed, 9,200. Uh, so the new version, it's been, it's been really good. Um, happy with it. Not the most, uh, not a big difference to the previous one. Although, yeah, like the extra gear, you don't really notice. The, the main thing that's changed and really improved is the brakes. More power, more modulation, less fuss, and they're just, yeah, really easy to live with. Really, uh, really happy with that. Then on the front, 56, 30, 52, 36, a chain set, and this is from Rotor. So the reason I've swapped from a, a Cannondale hologram is so these I'm now running a really short crank length, so 160 millimeters. It's a lot shorter than uh, what I was before, which is 170. The holograms you can't get any any lower than that. I've got an issue with my leg, with my one of the arteries in my leg, and having a shorter crank gives uh, less of a knee bend, and I feel that that makes a positive difference to me when I'm riding. Pedals for Vero Osioma Duo Power Meter pedals. Although I'm not going to be looking at much data for that as I'm riding, it's mostly going to be after to look at. Uh, head unit then, I'll have all the information on there when the Wahoo. It's mostly going to be time distance and I've got uh, different things like so to distance to the cues, so different turnings and things like that. The bar and stem, this is new for, uh, for me this year. I recently tested this for Road CC. Uh, 38 millimeters wide, 110 stem. The reason that I've got or kept this on is because it's actually really comfortable. Lots of good vibration damping. It it can't fit uh, aero bars, which I was using last year for the for the event last year. But I use them so little that I'm hoping that I'll be fine on this. If I need an extra position, it's quite long, so you can rest your arms there. Uh, I've got so I'll have more space on the tops as well, so that should should give a benefit. Saddle, Sella Repente, Artex GLM. This is the only thing that has changed, uh, has stayed the same, I think. Very, very comfortable. Um, yeah, definitely recommend this. It's supposed to be a gravel saddle, but I use it on the road and it's brilliant. Wheels, Cannondale Hologram, not 64s. The original set I had on the wheel, on the, on the bike broke. These have been, I've managed to find these from someone who's, um, who's selling them new after buying the bike. I, so last year I was running Scry wheels, uh, relatively cheap carbon wheels. Uh, performance is okay, but these are better in the wind. They're more comfortable, uh, wider um, internal rim. So these tires, Pirelli race tubeless tires, they pump up to so 25 mil, but they pump up to 27 mil. I find them really comfortable, really supple, um, quite grippy as well. So moving on to the extra bits I've got here. So lights. Uh, exposure lights, Strader on the front, Booster on the rear. Brilliant lights, a fantastic brand. I wouldn't use anything else. I'll have a spare rear in here, and then for the front, I've got a triple cell uh, support cell battery, which is going to give effectively double the burn time, uh, which is what I'm going to need because I'm going to have at least two full nights and then potentially moving into a third night. In terms of the bags, tail fin top tube bag. Again, fantastic bag. Uh, this is something I had on test for off-road CC. No movement in this. It's only got the two straps there, but it just doesn't move when you're riding. It doesn't need that front one. It hasn't got one, but it doesn't need one anyway. It's just so stable. The um, frame bag is from Straight Cut, custom, custom fit for, actually for another bike, my Life Segler. But it fits in here also, and you can see the bottle cages, there's just a perfect fit. Uh, large bottle cages, because it's going to be really hot and I'm going to need as much water as I can take on the bike. The cages, side entry, specialized cages to give easy access in and out. 
The bag on the back is from Apigura, relatively small one, I think it's four and a half litres. Any spare clothes, things that um, I'm probably not going to need while I'm riding will go in here. I made the mistake last year of not taking enough clothes, so I will be taking a few extra things in there. And then that's also got my spares, tubes, chain links, uh, things that I might need to, um, should I have any mechanical problems. Then the food that I'm gonna have. So the bulk of it will be in this top tube bag or in here. So precision fuel hydration, chews, gels, powder, electrolyte tablets, sachets. And um, yeah, we've got about 50, 60 gels and chews. They're gonna be the bulk of what I'm using for energy. Also got some normal food, things I like, cakes, um, waffles, drop waffles, mostly sweet stuff, but I have got some rice, some beef jerky, and um, things like that. Uh, so uh, they'll be at my Dropbox. So I've got Dropboxes here so on the on the stem. I've got some information on on times and things and distances. So I've got Dropboxes which I'm going to get to at 350k and 867k. And those I've got loads of food uh, which I'm going to be putting in. And uh, also got a few spares just in case I need any extra. So yeah, lots of checkpoints and the distances between each of those on there. Kit I'm going to be wearing, Castelli Aero Race jersey, Castelli bib shorts with the um, cargo pockets on the side, which is what I'm going to be using to put my rubbish in mostly. I'll, um, I've got Lake 332 shoes, which I find super comfortable. I've got quite wide feet for, my, for the size, for the length of feet. And uh, Lake are just brilliant with, um, with wider shoes. So uh, yeah, really comfortable, but stiff enough, light enough. Um, overall just I've, I've made I'm a convert to lake shoes in general I'm gonna put a hat in my bag because it's gonna be so hot I'm worried about burning my head uh, so that will be more for sun protection than for for warmth uh, and then yeah spares I'll be taking for clothing or not spares extras arm warmers uh, I'm if it's gonna be cold forecast to be cold I've got an insulated Castelli puffy jacket but it's, it's not looking as if I'm gonna need that. Also an Albion um, burner. Uh, it's like a panel, which you put on your front. Really, it goes really small. And then a gore shake dry jacket. So another thing that I'll be having is a high vis. So part of the, in the event you have to carry a high vis. They do give you one, but I'm a bit worried that it might be too big and flapping about. So I've bought myself a, uh, it's actually a kid's one. Uh, should be quite fun because it's got a monster on the back. So anyone who's riding behind me, and if you see a mo someone riding with a monster, then you know it's me. Uh, also for reflective stuff, I've got this pizza on the back. It's just like a little extra um, visibility for when I'm riding in the dark. So that's, I think that's pretty much everything on here. Uh, yeah, all, all set to start. Uh, I'll be taking a camera with me, hoping to get a film of the actual event. And um, yeah, I'll put a video up shortly after the finish.